Hey Gems, welcome back. It's Lorena. Yes, it's me. I've been really sick for the majority of this week. Um, I was on bed rest for like three days and I'm finally feeling a little bit better. I'm going back to work today. I figured, you know what? I have time. The house is quiet. Let's do some filming. So I apologize for my voice. I also apologize for this eyelash. It's being a butthead and it's going to bother me because it refuses to go in my inner corner. So if it's bothering you too, I'm sorry. She doesn't want to cooperate. So you know, let's ignore her. But with that said, let's get into today's talking trash or empty products video because y'all know I always talk a lot and I have a lot of stuff on my desk. So I'm doing the reverse of what I usually do. I usually have the bag full. I take everything out. This time I'm just going to throw everything away. So starting off, I'm just going to start grabbing some stuff. Okay. I have quite a few ColourPop eyeshadows. I actually recently went through my collection and decluttered a bunch of like dry ones or yeah, pretty much sh shades that aren't really working the way they're supposed to. I think I have about six of those here. So I'm just going to, you know, toss them in the bag because they got to go. I've got a nail polish um, base. This is Sally Hansen Triple Strong Strengthener. Um, I think it's supposed to be like smoothing, strengthening, and something else. It's like a three-in-one. It worked pretty well, but it just dried out. So she's done. Another one that dried out on me is this mint clay pot from Tarte. I was so sad because it's limited edition minty shade, but it dried out. I used the Inglot like reviving drops a couple times, but there was no saving her after a bit. So that one's done. Another one that died on me is a MAC. Um, what is it called? Their gel liner, I actually had depotted this, but that was a mistake because it just dried so much quicker. It was like another limited edition kind of deep reddish shade. But she has to go, so <laughs> she's done. We've got two of the Tardis clay pot, um, clay paint liners. I mentioned this recently that I just don't like the packaging. It kind of everywhere sometimes, and so I don't want to risk it. It's also kind of messy and like kind of hard to take off. So it's not my favorite formula. I'm not gonna repurchase these. These just I don't want them around because I'll get tempted to use them and then they'll on me again and get all over. And I don't want to. Deal. So. We've got e.l.f. Um, lip Scrub. This is in the mint formula. I don't like this formula. I like the original because it has like big exfoliating chunks of sugar. This one has like really fine granulated sugar that I just, I don't feel exfoliates. It kind of gets slimy and weird. So original formula, yes. Any flavor version, no. I'll pass. So that's got to go. Um, I've got a cleanser here. This is Nature Republic Fresh Green Tea Bubble Deep Cleanser. I love this thing. This one actually like pumps, comes out as a foam. I'm currently using one from the same green tea line that's like a cream to foam cleanser. I just love the green tea line from Nature Republic. It works really well for my combo oily, sensitive, acne prone skin. It just, it works. So I'm done with this one. Switch to the foam, clean, like creamy foam one. I like it so far. But this one was really good too. So if you have the same kind of skin that I do, it's a really gentle but effective line. So I really recommend that. I've got toothpaste from Neem. I've mentioned this I don't know how many times. I love this Holy Grail toothpaste. Um, we've got Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. You guys, I was so sad when this finished. I used this like all of this year. It was my Holy Grail. I really want to repurchase it, but I have like four other primers that I need to get through. So no buying until it's until we're like down to like one more because I have a problem. So this was really good. That was real sad this year ago. Along with that, I have the Naked Skin um, Concealer from Urban Decay. And this one I also really liked. It's a lot more watery than Tarte Shape Tape. Um, sometimes I would mix this with a, what is it, NARS Mini that I had also. But this shade was just too light. This is the shade Fair and Curl. This was like, hello Casper Under Eyes. Like, bam, in your face. So it just... I would repurchase this in my, you know, correct shade if I needed to choose one, but I really want to finish the shape tape because I don't like it, so. But the Urban Decay, nice. Ugh, okay, I have so much, so I am kind of like rushing through things, but. Um, Benefit Their Real Mascara Mini, didn't love this. It used to be a Holy Grail, now it's just kind of like a, okay. Um, the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, this really sucked, it didn't, it just, I don't like this kind of a wand. It's like the shape tape. No, not shape tape. What am I thinking? Better than sex from Too Faced. I hate these big thick wands because they just clump. And it's gnarly and I don't like it. So, not a fan. I've got another lip scrub. This is from Nature Republic. This one's just too creamy. You don't really feel it scrub. Didn't do much, so I'm tossing it. I've got the Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline. I mentioned this in another video. It sucked. 
We've got a Milani lip color and fruit punch. If I'm not mistaken, this fell in the cat litter. So she's got to go. We've got a Miracle Antifungal um, Oil for your toenails if you guys have problems with that. My boyfriend and I actually used this for the longest time and it works really well. Like, it really worked. Just a little PSA there. I know fungus is always super glam, but things happen. Like, it's a real life. That stuff is a problem for, like, millions of Americans and, you know, it worked. Anyways, skincare-wise, we've got the Caudalie... Glow Activating Anti-Wrinkle Serum. This one I was super excited about because I love the Caudalie Night Oil. But this one just didn't do anything for me, to be perfectly honest. I just kind of went through it and was like, oh, that's done and there's no change in my skin. So, not really worth the price. We've got a mini It's Potent Eye Cream from Benefit. I got this as a gift with a purchase at the beginning of the year. Kept it in a drawer for a long time. Ran out of eye cream. Decided to use it. It was okay. Wasn't life changing. I'm not gonna repurchase the full size or anything like that. And I hated the packaging because it has this like little lip on the inside. So I know there's product in there. I just can't get underneath like that. So unnecessary. <clears throat> so sorry. Okay, I've got the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Daily Leave On Mask. This has benzoyl peroxide. It's from Neutrogena. It is amazing for my skin. My skin really likes or really works well with benzoyl peroxide. Salicylic acid doesn't really do much for me, but benzoyl peroxide helps keep my breakouts under control. So I love this stuff. I just mix a little bit with my moisturizer, with my SPF. I do a squirt of each of them, mix them together, slap it on. I'm good to go. So this I need to repurchase. Along with my SPF, I'm currently using a moisturizer with SPF from Philosophy, so I'm not going to repurchase this now. But once I finish that, this is the Michelle Sun Protection Unscented SPF 28 Broad Spectrum, you know, UV protectant, UV, UVA, all those good things. But yeah, I really like this. It's a really natural brand. I get it at Sprouts. It works well for my skin. Not too heavy, not too oily, doesn't really have flashback problems, so I recommend that. I've got another Pit Boss antiperspirant and deodorant from Jack Black. I love this stuff. I mentioned it a few times now. This is like my third, my second tube. I'm on my third one now. And yeah, they have one that's like the cooling fix and it's aluminum free deodorant, not antiperspirant. And I want to give it a try right now in the winter time because in summertime, I'm not trying no natural deodorant. Girl, no. I ain't got time to detox and like be stinky for days. But in the winter time, you know, things are cooler. It's a good time to try like a new deodorant you know, without risking too much. So I might give that a try soon. All right, we've got Clean and Clear Prissa Gel 10, another benzoyl peroxide. This is my spot treatment. I go through one to two tubes every time I talk trash with you guys. Y'all know if you've been watching me. We've got Total Matteness from Philosophy. This is a pore minimizing and mattifying cleanser plus mask. I love it as a cleanser and a mask. It worked really well, but I've had this for going on two years. It was just time to finish it up. It did have, I think like a two year expiration date or timeline. It's just done. Yeah, ready to go. Worked well though. Would recommend it. I've got a few full size mascaras. Let me grab those. One that I loved and I actually got it twice in gratis from Sephora. It's the Dior Pump and Volume. I love this thing. It's so expensive though that I'm not going to repurchase anytime soon. But this was amazing. There's both my tubes. I didn't want to give either of them up. But I had to. We've got the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. Hated this thing. I got this in gratis also. It sucks. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. It didn't lengthen, volumize, define. It did nothing for my lashes. Absolutely nothing. One that's super cheap and did everything for my lashes was the Lash Accelerator Endless from Rimmel London. This baby. This I need to repurchase like now because she's going in the trash, but I love her. It lengthens, defines, adds volume. It helps me if I have a clumpy mascara, I can like zhuzh through it and fix the problems. Like I just loved this mascara. So yes, girl. I finally finished my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. Y'all know this was in my Project Pan and she's done. Yay. So that's gone. I've got a couple gel liners. Um, one from, well, other liners. I've got their real push-up liner from Benefit. This wasn't very popular and I can see why. It is such a difficult liner to take off your eyeballs and it doesn't like really glide on. It dries really quickly. It's just kind of hard to work with and so yeah, she's going. I've got a whole collection here of liquid and jumbo and other liners. So anything from NYX, ColourPop, Sephora, Physicians Formula, Wet n Wild, MAC, I mean, you name it, Maybelline, I've got it here. And they just need to go because they're either dried out, they're 
um, they're making my eyes sensitive, they don't work, they don't show up, just a combination, so there you guys have it, getting rid of a ton of those. I've got a Sephora lipstick, this, it just came off the bullet, and I don't have time to re-glue it, just so you guys can see, it came off, and I, I don't want to deal with that, so that's going. I've got the Wet n Wild Super Skinny Mascara. This I was going to review for you guys. It sucks. That's why I didn't review it because, again, it did nothing just like the Urban Decay Troublemaker. Don't recommend her. I've got Wet n Wild Makeup Remover Wipes. These don't remove anything. They just didn't work for me, so nope. I've got the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Balancing Shampoo. It worked really well. I love this thing. This I would repurchase if you need something that's like really clarifying. Highly recommend her. I've got two sponges, the Pure Cosmetic Sponge. This thing sucked. It's so hard. It like just slides everything around instead of like pressing it into your skin. This was terrible. Then the Real Techniques. This was a holy grail for me for the longest time, but I feel like they changed the formula. They ripped up really easily. They didn't last at all, and I just felt like they didn't bounce the same. So I don't know what's up with that. I need to find a new holy grail because I don't want to repurchase it. My M Cosmetics Chiaro Scuro. You guys know this was also in Project Pan. I finally... It's done. It needs to go. Last few. I've got some of my Halloween makeup. So I bought this one for a dollar. It's a cream makeup. I got it at Target. Generic brand. And it wasn't the greatest. So I got a CoverGirl white eyeshadow to kind of set that with and add more color. They worked well enough, but I don't need either of them. The CoverGirl caught really weird and kind of chunky and pasty because I was using it on top of that. So I'm just going to toss her because I don't need another white eyeshadow. Um, couple more things. Strivectin. I've had this too for like almost four years. It's time to let her go. I have the Caudalie 3-in-1 Remove Makeup Cleanse Tone Micellar Water. This did pretty much nothing. I didn't remove my makeup well. It, it might have toned. It didn't, I didn't use it as a cleanser. I mostly used this like after cleansing my face. I would come to the room and kind of use it as a toner slash removing anything that might be left, but it just wasn't impressive. I wouldn't spend the money on that. It's like 20 something dollars no girl um last but not least i've got a maracuja oil from tarte this thing actually expires really quickly and i didn't realize that until i was talking to a family member my aunt was like oh i love that oil but it goes bad so quick and i was like is that why it gets yellow she's like yeah it goes bad and it goes bad really quickly i bought a few and they just start turning yellow it smells weird so i came home and smelled it and i was like oh girl she's right it expires so I don't recommend this because for the price it's not gonna last you a long time and mm, it just didn't really do much so don't recommend that one and I think that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching let me know if you've used some of these if you have any tips on like making them work a little better if you have or if you love them hate them I would love to find out your opinions leave in the comments below thank you for putting up with my kind of wonky voice I apologize again I've been sick for days I'm finally feeling better going back to work today because I can't afford that whole like lying in bed lifestyle either so Thank you so much for watching <laughs> again. Uh, don't forget the usual. Click the like, subscribe, stick around for more videos. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope none of you guys get sick like I did. Take your vitamins, all that good stuff. See you soon. Bye.